What is this? Another battle royale, gory, win the game or you die kind of show? Yeah, why not? Huh, it's actually pretty good. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm sure by now many of you guys have watched the new Netflix series, Squid Game. You pretty much have to be living under a rock to not know it. Now, after watching the entire show for the first time and knowing the ending of the show, which by the way is quite shocking, I actually rewatched it again and noticed some cool new details that I'd like to share with you guys. So in case it isn't obvious, the rest of the video will contain heavy spoilers. If you haven't watched the show, please proceed with caution. So the ending of the show revealed that the old men who our protagonists have spent many episodes with are actually the organizer of the Squid Game. With this in mind, I went back on every episode and found these cool new details. During the first viewing of the show, it is weird to me that the old man actually voted against continuing the game since he had no reason to go back and was actually enjoying the game. But after knowing that he is the organizer, I may have figured it out. During the voting, the masked individual told the participants that the voting starts from the reverse order. Which seemed to be an odd choice given there's no reason for it to be. Except the fact that the old man is the organizer and the number one player makes it different because he will be the last one to have a say in deciding whether the game will be continued or not. Since Squid Games have mentioned many times that the game itself focuses on fairness and participants are always given the choice. That is why the old man chose to end the game, as he knows it is unfair to force everyone to continue when the voting is 100 to 100. Later on, he gave everyone a second chance to rejoin if they so wish to do so. In episode 3, where the protagonist rejoined the Squid Game, the first thing the old man said to him was, Johnny. Now the reason I think he is expressing so much joy here is because he didn't know if the protagonist was going to join back the game. Therefore, when they meet each other again, the old man is genuinely happy to see the only friendly and approachable person to him and is looking forward to enjoy the game with him. Later on in episode 3, where the participants are introduced to the candy game, the protagonist's friend who knew about the game actually lied and that put them in a dangerous position. Being the organizer, the old man would knew what the game was about and because of that, when he heard that the protagonist is likely to make a wrong choice, he had this reaction. <laughs> Notice how he's actually worried about the protagonist. That is why he said, <laughs> Again, pay attention to how the old man reacted when he knew the protagonist actually made a terrible mistake and is most likely going to die. In episode 4, where the protagonist and his team had to defend themselves during the night, the old man was missing until this very moment. Isn't it weird that the masked gunman who stood outside for so long and decided to not interfere until the old man asked this to be stopped? I think this is the first obvious hint that the show was trying to tell the audience that the old man is somehow involved in organizing the game. Later on, the old man was seen to have been awake for the entire night. I think the reason is so that if any attack were to happen again, he can simply yell for help and since the mask leader is keeping an eye on him, he will probably stop any attack and keep the old man safe. In episode 6, notice how once the participant's bag is empty after losing all of their marbles, they are immediately executed. However, when the old man thinks that he had no marbles left, the mask gunman didn't immediately shoot the old man as he knew he's the order to not do that. Towards the end of the episode, the old man purposely lost the game and was about to be executed. 
pay attention to where the protagonist walked out from and where the gunshot was heard. This is where the old man was supposedly shot. But when we zoom in, we'll see that there's not a single blood splash on the ground or near the wall or even on the door. Therefore, I think this is a small hint that the old man was not killed at all.